Hi, this is Shock44, here to help you out with your ball hack needs because uh, tutorial. I'm, I'm, I'm making this, this, doing this tutorial because everyone's like, "Oh, Shock, how do you do this stuff?" And like, and they're like, "How do I get the homebrew channel? How do I get the freaking ball hacks to work right?" I don't know. I don't understand anything. So I'm gonna do a series of ball hack tutorials for you guys, so you can figure out exactly what to do. So here we go. First thing you need to do, check your Wii system menu. By going to Wii options on the left side, click the Wii circle, click Wii settings. My version is 4.1U. If your version is 4.1U, then you should be able to install the Homeboon shell without having to use the use Brawl to install it. But if you have 4.3 then we're gonna have to use Smash Bros. Uh, Smash Stack uh, thing in order to get the Homebrew Channel installed. I will first show how to get the Homebrew Channel installed if you have 4.1. This is the tutorial that I will be using. But do not follow this tutorial all the way. Do not look at this at all because just follow mine because you do not want to do all the crap that's on this tutorial. I only linked it to I only linked it to you so you can look at it for reference because there's two other methods of uh of getting the homebrew channel that I don't know of. I mean that I that I don't know how to do because I don't have the C D game form because there's one for like Indiana Jones game, one for Yu Gi Oh five D's game. I don't have those games so I can't help you get the homebrew channel with those games. But I do have Smash Bros. And I'm sure you have Smash Bros. Since you're, you know, ball hack. If you want a ball hack, that's why you're on this. That's why you're on this tutorial. So there's a. I know the Smash Stack method to get the Homebrew Channel. I know the, the Banner Bomb method. The Banner Bomb method is the easiest method. But if you have 4.3 system menu, then you need to use Smash Stack because Banner Bomb is blocked in, in 4.3. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to use, how to do the Banner Bomb method first. So this is for 4.2 system menu people and lower. Here we go. Okay. So first, you want to go to Banner Bomb website. Click on Banner Bomb. Or go to my. Or go to my video. Go to the. Just it's in the video description. The video description has the Banner Bomb link. Go. And you'll, you'll go. You'll go here. Download this, and open it. Oh yeah. Make sure you have an SD card for this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys know this, but you need an SD card. An SD card, and that's a picture I made, just for the fun of it. All my all, the all my favorite characters, anyway. Um, SD card. It looks like this. Need one that's like one. At least you need one that's at least one gig, like this one. Don't, I don't know what this thing is. It's a, it's a ruler. Okay, but you need. An SD card that's at least one gig, and then if you and then you should have an SD card reader in your computer, um, or your laptop. If you don't have one in your laptop or computer, that's an SD. If if you don't have an SD SD card reader in your laptop or computer, they're usually in new computers or new laptops. If you don't have one of those, though, you can go get one of these things at your local computer store. I use, this is what I use since I don't have one. Uh, uh, since I don't have an SD card reader, this is what I use. I put the SD card in this thing and plug it in. The USB. Pretty cool. It's really nice. Anyway, that's what I use. So, after you have that, then once you have downloaded the Banner Bomb, zap, Banner Bomb zip thing, open it in WinZip or WinBar, whatever you got, to open up zips, and then there's a private folder. Also, before you do anything with this, actually, go to My Computer, make sure your SD card is in your computer. Like I, like I just plugged, it, I just plugged mine in. Look for one, look for the thing that says removable disk, and double click on that. And I have a bunch of crap in here, but you should only have like 
a private folder or nothing. If you if you have nothing in here, that's fine. If you have a private folder in here, then if you have a private folder in here, what you need to do is take the take your private folder that you have and rename it push F2 on it. Click on the private folder that you have, push F2, and then rename it to private old. Renaming it to private old will make it so that it's that it's okay. Basically, if you did not know this, the Wii identifies certain folders in your SD card as, dif um, as for certain things. And so does the homebrew channel. The home, like, for instance, the private folder is whenever the Wii sees a folder titled private, exactly called private in like capitals or lowercase or whatever, if it's called private, then it will think then it will look 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 in that folder and for save files that you have copied from your save games from your from your Wii it'll look for those it'll, and it'll look for virtual console games too like anything you've copied from your Wii onto your SD card it'll look for that in the private folder that's what the, that's what the private folder is for and people use the private folder they change they put, they put files in there that, that so and make it so that the Wii will read them because they're like super cool hack persons that know how to do this stuff and they um put it in there and the Wii looks at the pipe folder and says oh there's some stuff in here and it loads it but the per but it's parent bomb because you know they figured out how to make it work for the Wii anyway so after you, after you rename it to private old, because we don't want the Wii to load up our save files, we want the Wii to load up this new private folder we're going to put in here to get the homebrew channel. You can always go back after we're done installing this and, re and, get, and uh, rename the private folder you're using for homebrew channel to, home to private homebrew, and then rename back private old to private, so that, when, so that now you have your save files again. Now you can access your, access your save files again by s if you just rename the one you were using earlier, and then we name the other one back to private. Anyway, so after you name it to private old, you know, extract this to your removable disk, extract it there, and then um, go to the homebrew channel link I put in the description, click on this, download that, open it, and extract this folder somewhere, just somewhere where you'll, be, where, you'll, where you'll be able to find it. And then go to where the folder is. Hang on a second. Okay, there it is. Then copy the boot.elf boot .elf, to your removable disk. Just paste it in there. I already have it in there. Just paste it in there. Whenever someone says paste it to the root of your SD card that means you will go to removable disk in my computer and you right click you click paste and whenever I say extract it to, the, to your S SD card that means you open up the zip and you click extract and then you click on the removable disk and you click OK that is how you that's what the root of the, uh, the SD card is it means it's the root It's D SD card, not no folders, no folders. Do not put it in any folder. You're putting it in the root. So anyway, after you're done with that, then we can safely remove the SD card like that. I like to do it that way, and then we can go back to the Wii. All right. So now that we're back here, what we need to do is go to Wii options. Data management, save data, we, and then SD card. Or is that the right thing at all? I think we go here. Yeah, here we go. Go here, click yes. Sorry. Okay, don't do what I did earlier. Go to the SD card thingy, and that will start up the boot.elf you copy, which is the homebrew channel installation majigger. And it'll be like, uh, you can't do anything until you read this, because they'll like, 
Oh my gosh. If you pay for this thing, you must sue that person or you've been scammed or whatever. But like they want to make sure you read the whole thing, so you, it takes a while for the for it to come up. But then you press one after you after efforts, like after it finally comes up, then install the homebrew channel. After you install the homebrew channel, you can install a boot me if you want. It's a nice thing to have. It makes it so that you can um, just um, go to the homebrew channel immediately when you start your Wii up. With boot me is pretty nice. Anyway, this is the homebrew channel. There's bubbles. And if you want to play the popping bubble game, take out your SD card and pop some bubbles with your pointer. No, uh, kind of cool. Pop, pop. Up, 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 up. Pretty cool, I guess, but it's not that great. Anyway, it's a nice feature. You, still, you can still do it in the background, actually. Anyway, next thing you need to do is take your SD card out and put it back in your computer for the next step. Alright, this next step is pretty easy. Next step you need to do is make a new folder in here called apps a p p s call it that in your SD card yes in the root of your SD card make an apps folder and in the apps folder what you need to wa what you want to do go to the video description go to the download link for gecko os and click download on the right side where it says links open up that zip file extract it wait let's see what's in here first okay extract that to your apps folder that you just now made extract that to your apps folder once you've done that then you can oh dang it I forgot to tell you guys how to um put the codes in. All right, so let me show you the codes I use. Okay, so I have this thing called Code Manager. Open up uh, TXT. From what keeps all my codes. See, I like to have unrestricted pause camera so I can zoom in and out of the level one paused tags in replays. I don't really know what tags in replays does. I think it makes it so replays are unlimited. That means that you can you can um, have you can save you can save a replay that's um, more than three minutes long, which is good. Why why did the freaking uh, brawl like be like oh we don't want to save replays longer than three minutes? I mean, like I can understand people maybe oh wait no infinite link three plays that's what that is I don't know what tags is so I just have it on can start game with one player that's just in case you want to just start the game with one player but if you do stock match with one player then it'll just end automatically because there's no one there anymore so you so you have to have it on timed match and then loan Zelda icon, CSS fixes. This is if you want your custom CS, if you want the custom CSS and have it be all nice and cool and have all the characters on all the stuff. I don't really like to have that. I like to have just standard brawl stuff. I don't really care about alloys or warrior man or Kika Bowser or any of that crap. So I just have it on. Um, so I, so I just have the uh, brawl selector on the screen on normal. Then no tripping. I like to have that on. Then there's a the file patch code 3.5.1. That's a one that you should always use unless they come, unless they come out with something that re that's really 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 good or something like that that has no that doesn't have any bugs you should always use 3.5.1 then these unknown codes I forget what they do so I don't use them so if you so if you want um these codes I can uh, extract it for you. you can give you the give you the GCT in the description upload somewhere for you. 
so I'll just do that and um, you then after you get the GC GCT yeah then go to your um, SD card and make a folder called make a folder called data and then make another folder called gecko make another folder called c and make another folder inside there call it codes so it goes data then you go inside the data folder make a gecko folder go in, go inside that folder make it make a codes folder go in that, sorry that go inside that folder and then put in the rsbe01.gct code fol co codes file it should look it should uh, just be uh, it's just, it should just be named rsbe01.gct once you have it in there then you then you take out then you take out your SD card and then I'll show you the next step alrighty after your SD card is back in your homebrew channel then we will go to the gecko OS it's the thing that says gecko and it says gecko OS 1.9.3.1 load it up make sure your disk make sure you have put in the ball disk before loading this though because if you if you load this but don't have your ball disk in it won't it won't like load or it will like just be on black screen or it won't be able to launch it won't, it won't be able to launch the game because it won't be anything in there like that see error no DVD found but anyway Oh, by the way, if you have, if you don't, if you want these bubbles and you don't have bubbles on your screen, go to config and just click on turn bubbles on. It's kind of cool, whatever. Anyway, just put um just put the uh, ball disk in and um, launch the game, and then uh, it will say like blah 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 ap applying codes, and if, if it says applying codes and you did it right, and then you then Brawl will have some stuff replaced with whatever you replaced it with. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helps you. Next time I will explain explain Brawl hacking in more depth. Uh see ya.